Hello and welcome back to your Denny Dose of Minecraft, hosted by me, the Derpy Whale. In this series, I aim to show you guys what's happening in the Minecraft community. But before I do, my 100k YouTube plaque has just arrived and I wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed to this channel. It's grown a lot this month and I'm so grateful to everyone who subscribed or is about to. I promise I'll try my hardest to put out fun and entertaining videos for you guys. And with that said, let's get right into your Denny Dose of Minecraft. For our first clip, a player by the name of Natural Power has took it upon himself to make glow squids actually glow. He did this with a data pack, the download of which will be linked down below for you guys in the description as always. Hopefully Mojang will actually copy this because the outcome is actually pretty cool. Because currently the glow squids don't actually glow. Whilst on the 1.17 theme, these new particles which actually come with this update make for this really cool Aurora light effect, as demonstrated by Mitiger. How do I even say that name? They look amazing anyway. I just thought this was really cool. A player by the name of Gaming Raccoon has had enough of using torches when it comes to enchanting. So he made this awesome redstone contraption. Super clean and a must have if you guys are any good with redstone. Sadly, as you guys already- Oh, what was that? That can't be good. Oh no, it's not that bad. You guys already know, I'm useless at redstone. Who knew using cows would result in such a fast method to travel? This is how a hardcore world starts and ends in under 4 minutes. This guy's so unlucky. Jamie Hope has just got the achievement, how did we get here? In hardcore, to get this achievement you actually need to have all a potion effects on your person at the exact same time. And it's seen as probably one of the hardest achievements to get in the game. Swim. No, get, get in the- YES! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Finally! Yes! If you've seen one of these episodes before, you know it wouldn't be a Daily Dose episode without your standard dose of cool rainbow spirals. So enjoy! And as always guys, if you want your own clips features, there's a link down below where you can submit to our Reddit, Minecraft Daily. This is actually the definition of work smart, not hard. This player who's playing on Minecraft Mobile has made command blocks to help him build. When he places a block, it does the rest. I can only imagine how many hours he must have saved by doing this. A player by the name of Exhaust Flashlight has made himself this fun minigame that will randomize lava for you to dodge. He even shows us a bit of the redstone. I'm sure this makes sense to some of you guys, but I have no clue what I'm looking at right now. This next tip just makes me want to buy a VR headset so badly. Lord Dead Demon is actually flying in virtual reality. I'm actually so jealous. I've always wanted a VR headset. Maybe I should just get one. This is how you can get infinite water in Bedrock Edition using the new Axolotl mob. There's this bug that occurs when you're in spectator mode. If you go underground, all textures will just invert, and it makes for this really cool effect. I probably should rewatch Inception at some point. Thank you. 
If you guys are enjoying the video so far, show me by leaving a like on this video and let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next episode. Here's another cool thing that comes with the 1.17 update. You can now climb using powdered snow. Is this the new MLG trick? One thing's for sure, this is the new Ultra Zoom. Using Optifine and the Spyglass, you can now literally see everything. We love a good boss battle on this show, and this one does not disappoint. Meme Minecraft has made a two-phase boss battle using command blocks and data packs. The first phase is John's Rider, and it looks pretty challenging. Once you've slain the first phase, you now need to tackle the horse, which isn't as easy as it sounds. Make sure you guys check out his post, his and everything else will be linked down below in the description for you. A player by the name of Activator Rail is showing us the weird and wonderful patterns large amounts of fire can give you. I wonder how this will look on YouTube, probably terrible to be honest, seems like it would use a lot of bitrate. I'll check it out once they upload it, hello Derby Whale from the future, who is probably watching this back on YouTube right now. But that's it guys, that was your daily dose of Minecraft. If you made it this far, you must have really enjoyed it, right? So help me out by consider leaving a like, comment and subscription to this channel. And if you really do enjoy the series, consider sharing out to friends and discords. I have two more videos on screen I think you will enjoy.